Welcome to Jebby TV. The Inspector General of Police, Mohamed Adamu, has banned the personnel of Federal Special Anti Robbery Squad, FSAS, and different tactical squads of the force from embarking on habitual patrol. The IGP's ban became contained in a statement issued on Sunday via the first public relations officer, Frank Mba. The assertion said the IGP banned the personnel of the Federal Special Anti Robbery Squad, FSAS, and other tactical squad of the force, which include the Special Tactical Squad, TSC, Intelligence Response Team, IRT, and Courtism Squad, and other tactical squad working on the Federal Zona and Command stages from wearing out ordinary patrols and other conventional low-risk duties, for stall and search duties, checkpoint mounting of roadblocks, site visitors, assessment and many others with instantaneous impact. The officials have been warned and opposition to carrying out prevent and prevent such duties, checkpoint mounting of roadblocks, visitor tests and many other with instant effects. According to the first spokesman, the IGP warned the tactical squad against the infest invasions of the privacy of citizens particularly. This, he stated, blanketed the indiscriminate and unauthorized search of cell phones, laptops and different smart devices, adding, adding that they had to concentrate and respond most effective to instance, instances of armed robbery, kidnapping and other violent crimes whilst he, the, the want arises. When the want arises, Umba stated, the, the tech directives come in opposition to the backdrop of finding through the management of the force that a few personnel of the tactical squad disguised under those guises to penetrate, to perpetrate all forms of illegally opposite, Ill, okay, illegally opposite of the standard operation procedure SOP code of conduct and rules of engagement organizing the squad. Following the allegedly brutality through safety operatives in the numerous elements of the country, many Nigerians took to the social media to specific to specific to specify their anger over the activities of guys of the special anti-corrupt squad of the Nigerian police calling for the unit to be proscribed. On Saturday, the end SARS hashtag changed into the number one fashion on social media app Twitter for numerous hours, bringing again to the first cause of the right dealing with the rogue, excessive past police officers. The outrage appeared to were pre precipitated by using a post from a Twitter user who stated he recorded SARS officials taking pictures, a young boy useless, useless at Ugeli Delta Nations in the front of wetland lodges. They felt him useless for the roadside and drove away with the deceased Lexus Jeep. Wow, this is very, very good. You know, SARS needs to be to be scrapped in this country. They have caused a lot of efforts to the youth, especially, you know, killing innocent people. The killing is even the height of it. They can stop anybody, harass the person, call the person a Yahoo boy, and begin to check all of his devices unlawfully, check his phone, check his laptop, check his bag, check everything. And this is, is someone who is a gentleman going on his own. You stop him, begin to ask questions, begin to you know interrogate him unnecessarily. And the worst part of it is that they've gone far to the level of shooting guns 
shooting gun against the masses. These are people who are meant to, to protect the masses. But no, they are even the enemy of the masses. They kill the innocent. Wow, this is so, so bad. This is so, so bad. And the federal government must do something about this. If SARS must continue to exist, then they must correct this wrong or there will be war because the youths will want to raise harm and want to fight back when this thing is becoming too often. But this is a very good development from the IGP. He has banned them for some time now and we want to say that every citizen should look out to see if any SARS is standing by the road to harass anybody. He or she is meant to face the law. It's meant to face the wrath of the law because it, they have been banned. They are not supposed to be by the road at this time. So the SARS are not supposed to be, you know, a threat to the nation. They are supposed to protect the interest of the nations. They are meant to be the security that protects the people from evil. But rather, they are even the evil now in black dress, you know, threatening people, you know, scaring them with guns you know yesterday we saw pictures of of someone who was killed a woman for that matter who was shot dead by a sars you know which is very very bad when he, when she when he even did that there was no remorsefulness he was even trying to shoot other people who were you know who were condemning that act that he has he has, he has carried out i want to say that the federal government should take this hall with a legal and with an iron hand, with a serious hand. They shouldn't take this lightly at all because if they watch, fold their hands and watch this continue, then something else will come out of it, which will be against the peace of the nation. And our country, our dear country Nigeria, we want her to be in peace. We don't want war in this country. We don't want war. We don't want war. So let the federal government rise and do something about this evil that the, 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 the SARS are perpetrating against the, the citizens. They must be banned. They must, we don't want them again. Let them just live forever because their existence is, is causing a great harm, grievous harm upon people. Innocent families are now in, in their mourning because a, a SARS, you know, who is not well trained, who is not in his right senses, just shot, you know, a family, somebody who is so important to our family was shot down like that. You know, such such a person should even be should be jailed. That kind of SARS should even go to jail for doing such because it is it is a crime for you to even kill. That is a murder case. That is a murder case. He is supposed to be in jail for the rest of his life. Life imprisonment is what he is entitled to. So we are calling on the federal government to really undo this matter the way it should be. We don't want any form of situations whereby you know a, a, a SARS member will now be killing a citizen. No, it is not supposed to be. These are people who should take care of the interests of the people, not stand against them. Thank you for listening. Let us know your thoughts in the comment box. Drop it there and we, 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 are, we are together.